Hello, everyone. Welcome to the mini lecture uh, by OUHK Creative Art, Bachelor of Fine Art with Ons in Imaging Design and Digital Art. I'm Rachel. I'm the lecturer of the program. Today, I would like to talk about how to look at an artwork, what is art and how to read. You might see all these kind of things uh, from books, internet, newspaper, magazines, TV program, gallery, museum, and all the exhibitions. You must know these things is called artwork, but how to look at an art, what is art and how to read. There's actually some basic questions you can ask yourself to help us to decode the visual statement. First of all, you can ask yourself, what is my first response to the artwork? Is it interesting or is it awful? Is it boring? You can have your own feeling about it. There's no immortal answer. What you have to do is to try to spend some more time to look at it. Or sometimes you have to look closer. Yes, just like this one. You cannot see anything when you enter the room until you walk close enough to the wall. This is the wall painting by Solarit. And the second thing you can ask yourself is when and where was the work made? By whom or for whom? Or is the purpose did the work serve? You can just try to Google the information uh, from the internet or read more information from the book. For example, this painting uh, called Light Wash by Rembrandt in 1642 is a very large painting um, in the Rijk Museum, Amsterdam. The painting was commissioned uh, by Captain Bannon Code and 70 members of his guard. The painting was commissioned to hand in a banquet hall of the newly built in Amsterdam. And then uh, you can see this is a commission work. This is very important uh, to know about uh, when and where was the work made by whom or whom, because um, this always associated with, with the social and historical background of it. And it's also, I can tell you the talent code and the skills development at the time, and also how people, especially the artists think about work and think about art and also the art movement at the time. Art is not uh, just for fun when it's associated with serious art practice and art history. There's always a reason uh, why people have to make it what purpose did the work serve? It is to simulate the devotion or to impress the viewer with the owner's power. Sometimes it's uh, try to enhance a family pride, to teach, to delight, to express a feeling. Present a lightless, uh, illustrate a mystery, or sometimes is to address a social issue or even only for art for us sake. All the work uh, got its own reason and a purpose. Just like uh, these two paintings, these two portraits, uh, they are trying to serve different purpose, obviously. I will give you one more example. Uh, you may see the banana like this uh, with the masking tape, uh, especially on the social media a year ago. Uh, this is an artwork by an Italian artist, uh, Catalan, actually. Uh, when you try to search more information about the work, you can see that uh, Catalan uh, just tried to make his sculpture and installation like this all the time. 
He played his sculpture in a very uh, unique and funny way. And obviously uh, they got some meaning and then uh, issue he tried to address uh, over his artwork. It's just not like a simple, simple banana with the masking tape. So that uh, is also very important for us to know the art practice uh, for the artist. Because uh, when we are doing some more research about the work or the artist, we will know uh, what he tried or always want to address uh, by his artwork. And also how he or she uh, using his artwork to tell the issue. Another example for uh, Kathleen is this uh, sculpture, a golden toilet, but the title is very funny. Uh, he called it America. The work is on 2016. There's a very uh, interesting story behind because uh, Guggenheim Museum just tried to uh, offer this work, America, to Trump uh, and put it in the White House. We can always find the information about the work uh, by the caption card uh, next to the artwork. They always give you the name of the artist, the title, uh, the year, and also the medium. Uh, all the information are very important because uh, you can just try to, uh, as I just told you before that uh, you can just try to uh, search more information about the artist, uh, his or her age, uh, the nationality, the uh, background, the art practice, and then uh, he or she, the artwork compared with the artwork. And also uh, the title of the work uh, will give you a lot of information. Another question uh, we want to ask is, uh, what does the form contribute? The material uh, of the artwork, the size, uh, the color, the composition, and something like that, or about the form of the artwork. These are both uh, the portrait uh, of someone and then uh, one by Van Gogh about uh, his daughter and uh, another one. You can see the size is very different because uh, for the Van Gogh one is uh, not a very big painting, but for the uh, Lepont one is a very uh, large painting you can see. And then uh, obviously is for a uh, different purpose. Yeah, what's the title? Uh, does it help helped us to illustrate the work? For example, this one. Um, sometimes the artwork will call uh, untitled, but uh, for for the Scotsla one, you can see that uh, he got the blanket, perfect lover. Uh, the work is just two o'clock uh, with the same time, but uh, the title just help to illustrate the work a lot and then it's about the timing for a perfect lover and the pace for them and all the things. You can just uh, illustrate uh, a couple uh, with the clock like that. And then uh, in what condition has the word served, survived? and also uh, where would the work originally have been seen? Uh, this is a very important question, especially for some uh, classical work. For example, this one, uh, the Venus uh, demurred at the loft. And then you can imagine that um, at the very beginning, uh, she got the hands of course, but we never know uh, the gesture of it or any, and we will, never know uh, how it's look like uh, is the condition of the work now. And also uh, the light watch, actually uh, this was much bigger 
than what we see in the work museum nowadays. Uh, it has been trimmed down uh, by someone so that uh, two of the characters uh, are now missing. Yeah, the word just uh, bigger than what we see now. There's always a lot of story behind the artwork so that uh, when we want to know more about uh, art and we want to know how to read art, uh, besides this very basic question, which helps you to decode the official statement, we always have to try to uh, read more and then to enhance our knowledge about uh, art and the art practice. And I hope you all enjoy uh, the mini lecture today. And then I hope this kind of uh, basic question can really help you uh, for you to look at the artwork or the exhibition uh, later on. Yeah, thank you for joining us. And then if you want to know more uh, information about our program, uh, just feel free to uh, go to our website or the Facebook, uh, Instagram or YouTube. Thank you very much.